Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thanks for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Monday, April 15th. It's Monday in Holy Week. The scripture for this service, Psalm 69, verse 1 to 21. And John, chapter 12, verse 9 to 19. And join me now in singing the second verse of Sing My Tongue. Thirty years among us dwelling, his appointed time fulfilled. Born for this he meets his passion, this the Savior freely will. On the cross the Lamb is lifted, where his precious blood is spilled. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Save me, O God, for the waters have risen to my neck. Psalm 69, and please recite it with me. Save me, O God, for the waters have risen to my neck. I sink deep in muck where there is no firm ground. I've come into deep waters where the floods wash over me. I am weary by my crying. My throat is parched. My eyes fail while I wait for my God. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. They that would destroy me wrongfully are mighty. Must I restore that which I never took? O oh God, you know my foolishness, and my sins are not hidden from you. Do not let them that wait on you be ashamed for my sake. Do not let those that seek you become confounded because of me, O oh God of Israel. For your sake I have borne reproach, and shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my family, an alien to my mother's children. For the zeal of your house has consumed me, and the reproaches of them that scorn you have fallen on me. When I wept and chastened my soul with fasting, that was turned into my reproach. I made sackcloth my garment, and I became a proverb to them. They that sit in the gate speak against me, and the drunkards make songs about me. But as for me, this is my prayer, O God, in your own time. O God, in the vastness of your mercy, hear me in the truth of your salvation. Deliver me out of the mire, and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from them that hate me, and out of the deep waters. Let not the flood cover me, neither let the deep swallow me, and let not the pit shut her mouth on me. Hear me, Most High, for your loving kindness is good. Turn to me in your tender mercy. Do not hide your face from me, for I am in trouble. Answer me quickly. Draw near and redeem my soul. Deliver me from my enemies. You have known my reproach, my shame, and my dishonor. My adversaries are all before you. Reproach has broken my heart. I have reached the end of my strength. I looked in vain for some to take pity and for comforters, but I found none. They gave me gall for my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Save me, O God, for the waters have risen to my neck. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 12, beginning at verse 9. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that Jesus was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom Jesus raised from the dead. And so the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and believing in Jesus. The next day the great crowd that had come to the festival heard 
that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. And so they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, as it is written, Do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written of him and had been done to him. And so the crowd that had been with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead continued to testify. It was also because they heard that he had performed this sign that the crowd went to meet him. The Pharisees then said to one another, You see, you can do nothing. Look, the world has gone after him. Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. O God, you have seen our shame and dishonor. In your vast mercy, draw near and redeem our souls. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.